This is Mark Dubé with Kev Rock Entertainment. Stick around. We got a famous rock and roll drummer on the line with us today, a Grammy Award winner, someone who's played drums on many of our favorite hit songs and records such as Premonitions, Vital Signs, and Eye of the Tiger, just to name a few. Former Survivor drummer Mark Drew Bay is on the line with us today. Mark, thanks for taking the time, brother. Hey, Kevin. Thanks for having me. Now, Mark and I first met back in 2010 at a Survivor show somewhere in Georgia when Frankie Sullivan, the lead guitarist of Survivor, had actually invited me to a show as his personal guest and then forgot. And I was young at the time, so I show up at the show and I had security guards ready to throw me out of the venue thinking that I made up this story that Frankie invited me to the show. Like, we'd believe for a second that you're friends with Survivor. And as soon as my father and I are about to be kicked out of the venue, I see Mark come around the corner and not knowing what to do, I run up to him, Mark, Mark, Frankie invited me to the show. And then he forgot about it and they're ready to throw me out. They think I'm making it up. And of course, Mark saves the day. He gets me in and we hung out and we've hung out a few times. <laughs> Time since at a few shows. Uh, you know, that's, I guess that happens a lot of times. You know, oh, I'm with the band, I'm with the band. You know, I've used that myself. <laughs> <laughs> now, it wouldn't feel right to interview a former member of Survivor without remembering the late Jimmy Jameson. I, of course, had the honor of hanging out with him backstage at a show the last time we saw each other in 2013. And I know Survivor as a band hasn't always been the best of friends, but how close were you with Jimmy, and what can we say to remember this great man and this great talent? Oh, well, Jimmy, he was, you know, he was a real guy, always was. Didn't have any agendas or anything like that. All he wanted to do was, was sing, you know. And th- there, were, there were issues off and on over the years. You know, he used the, using the name and all that stuff. But, you know, for the most part, I- I'm a kind of guy that, you know, go, go out and do what you do. Sing or play or whatever. Um, I was fortunate enough to be in a band that, you know, uh, had a, 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 a pretty decent legacy of songs, and, and uh, we were able to play for many more years probably than we normally would have if it hadn't been for, you know, that one song. So um, I, I just, you know, Jimmy, even though he didn't sing that song, he was the, he was the voice and the face of the band, and um, it's, it's a, it was a tremendous loss to music and to the band when when he passed away last uh, September. I and mean, how close were you guys? We were pretty close. Not not real close. I mean, I don't know that anybody was real close over the last few years. Not like in the back in the day when you're on a bus and traveling and touring together all the time. Uh, you know, the last incarnation of the band, everybody lived in different states and stuff. And we would just, you know, fly into wherever the show was and play and stuff. But, you know, we, we all got along pretty much. Um, it's like anything, you know, you know someone for 25 years and when you're kids and, you know, like I said, back in the, in the early days, that's, that's, that was your whole life with the band. But later on, you know, especially after the, you know, the 10 year uh, hiatus, you know, from from like 88 to 98, everybody goes off and, you know, has families and all that stuff and your life becomes different. It's not just revolving around the band. 